And so I think at the heart of, of Pulp Fiction, it's community. I think if I'm if I'm honest, that's our biggest thing. They'll come to us and they'll do real jobs. They might be learning to be a barista or they might be learning how to chop the fruit and veg properly so they can work in a cafe. And they, they are going to get their level two food hygiene certificate, which means they can work in any cafe in Nottingham if they want to. Oh, I, I, I just love the concept that, uh, you know, it's ingrained in Pulp Fiction's vision, supporting the young adults who have learning disability and autism. One, it's the society really needs to appreciate them and they need to be equipped. But the essence of Pulp Friction equipping its members with skills that can be utilized in the society and have them showcase that other side of them that is really excellent. Could they a baker, gardening, you know, service, gift of services. I, I love what they bring out in their members and the usefulness they get to impact the society. Okay. I'm here three days a week. I'm um, quite often in the kitchen or I'm outside or help prepare for the community lunches. And quite often we get older people who are lonely. They come in, have a cup of coffee or, uh, and a sandwich and we are a bit of a friendly face. I did a Christmas party and did my first gig. I am I come to professional, it's me and my life feel good and it gets gets me out of the house and it takes me off my Xbox. I'm Michelle, I come to Port Friction. Port Friction changed my life, it's made me make new friends and it's made me feel accepted. I am I'm Shana. Um, I like Port Friction because it makes me feel happy. They support people out of their comfort zone. So. It's, it's broken barriers for people with disabilities. It's helped people with their life. If Pulp Friction didn't exist, can you tell me what would life be like? Boring. Boring. Boring.